Hi, Jeff Marples here. I'm a broker with Square Foot SF. We're a real estate brokerage in San Francisco. Sell homes and condos primarily, uh, TICs, co-ops, done income property as well. But uh, primarily the bread and butter is going to be residential real estate in the city. Um, wanted to touch base with you. We just had our 4th of July holiday. And I sort of noticed that there's a lot of units that are sitting on the market. Some of them I think that are a little bit overpriced. You know, overall inventory is much lower than it was last year. I thought last year was pretty bad too. But inventory is off about 7 to 10%. And so when you're looking at these units, um, I think that, you know, I'm, I'm approaching a time period where it's like we're about in our dead period. You know, we're, you know, August in San Francisco, people get out of here, they're splitting town. And I think, you know, for buyers out there, be prepared. Don't waste time and not look at real estate this summer. Um, I think things happen unexpectedly. And if you could time it to where you were eliminating a lot of the competition, you know, during the summer holidays, as well as, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving is also a really good time for us. I, I do great business that time of year. Um, because the thing is, a lot of the buyer competition is going to be off. You know, they're out. They don't want to deal with it. They're vacationing or whatnot. And the other part is I do find units that are sitting out in the marketplace, you know, uh, especially in some of the condos down in the complexes down South Beach, uh, but other places, too. And, and, and so, you know, from a buyer's point of view, if the property has been on the market approaching that third week, you know, I'm kind of like there's going to be a deal in there. Um, and you know, from buyer's point of view, you make your money when you buy, right? So um, eliminate some of your competition when you can. Find some properties that have been out there for a little bit, even though if you think it's a little overpriced, that's fine. Because you know what? We dictate what, or you dictate really, what the value is to you, right? And that comes back to sellers. You know, sellers in this marketplace have to be very price sensitive. I've seen people list their property and they think it's worth more than they, they deem the value at it. And if you're viewed as overpriced from a listing point of view and your home is beautiful, your condo is, is, is great, it has a certain magic, but it's still selling, you've got the wrong price. You know, um, the thing is I've seen a, a, a lot of condos that's just sitting on the market and you know, I'm going to be the first person that's going to come in there and hit you with a huge price reduction if the thing's sitting on the market for a while. Um, so sellers, you really need to be price sensitive. You know, I would I would say that there's a couple different prices that we need to keep in mind. You know, your idea of what you want for the property, but also what is our listing price to get these people into the property in droves? And, and get as many people to ask for the disclosure packet and get that, that, that fever going between the buyers and set an offer date, you know? But I tell you, you know, the kiss of death is really gonna be uh, overestimating the value of the property. So um, what I would recommend is, is just be price sensitive. Buyers, go out there and find some deals. Um, if you wanna learn more, give me a call. I'm always here to help, even if you just wanna chat it up. Uh, but enjoy the summer. Talk to you soon.